What is good guys, Kobe here from the Philo Bros and today I'm going to be giving you a detailed look and review on the Nike Air Force One. I should have brought out the shoes first before setting all of this up. What is good guys, Kobe here from the Philo Bros and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a detailed look and review on the Nike Air Force One chenille pack. Okay, I said pack but this is just one pair. But this did actually release in a pack overseas. Yeah, Nike has been holding us on the drops lately and has been really killing it on the retail prices. Does anybody know the retail price of the Atmos Air Max 1s? Pretty steep. But we're here to talk about the Nike Air Force 1 now. So without further ado, here it is. Anyways, let's start off with a detailed look with the shoes, starting with the outsole. Now the outsole is your standard Air Force 1 outsole with the stars at the tip and at the back. You can see it's a little bit dirty because uh, I used it before I did the review. Moving on to midsole, again your classic Air Force One all white midsole with the Nike Air embossed on the sides. Moving on to the back, you have the Nike Air logo and this nice little suede material. It's not really buttery suede but you know it's... Okay, this isn't actually suede. I don't know the type of material this is, but it's kind of like a new buck. Yeah, it's new buck. It's new buck. At the tongue area, you have the Nike Air Force One branding in blue with red accents. And the same exact design can be found in the insole of the shoe as well. See, you got the men's size 9. You know, men with big feet. And moving on to the uppers of the shoe, this is where it gets interesting and actually the main feature of the shoe and why it makes it so special. This chenille type material on the swoosh is just so insane. I love the feel of it. I just love the look of it. It's super crazy. It looks super dope and it's a nice twist up to your classic triple white Air Force ones. Now regards to sizing, I want my true size which is a 9 but I feel like I could have gone with an 8.5 but the sad story about this shoe is that it was a GR, but whenever I check the store, Commonwealth, Capital, The Athlete's Foot, Soul Academy, they didn't have my size. Well, Soul Academy actually didn't have the pair, but the other three didn't have my size in them. So people went crazy for these and just flew them off the shelves, even though it was a GR. So I had to go online and look for a seller with my size, and the closest I could find was a 9. There wasn't actually a lot of people on the market selling these, so... And when I did find my guy, I had to pull the trigger because it was the only size closest to me, and again, it was the only one on the market. If you are trying to pick these up, I'm not sure if they're still available in any stores right now. I know Commonwealth still has a couple sizes, and it ranges from about size 11 to size 13, I think. Not quite sure, but I'm definitely sure size 10 and below is completely gone. So yeah, if you're size 9 gang, sorry bro. We're taking L's on these. We're taking L's on the GR. So that pretty much does it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. There was nothing, you know, super special about the shoe. I just thought that it was super dope, super clean. It's a nice switch up to your classic triple white Air Force Ones. So if you're in the market for an Air Force One and you want something clean but not too simple and not too, you know, plain and like everyone has them, definitely try and find your size with these. Make sure you guys stay to the end of this video for the on-feet looks of this. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys again. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to our channel. Let's reach 1,000 subscribers very, very soon. You know, the uploads have been, you know, slacking a lot. You know, we are working on it every time. And yeah, like the video if you liked it. Also, leave a comment down below what you think about this chenille Air Force One. I just, it's a funny, it's a funny word, you know, fancy. Chenille. So yeah, thank you guys again, and I'll see you soon. Mabuhay.